Hey y'all, this is Anna Alexander. Welcome back to the basement as we are heading back to the trials and tribulations that is the Dutch and family for episode five of 1923. I almost said season one, but there's only one season of 1923, right? Right. But nevertheless, right. Okay. So we have discovered that Spencer's and the Dutton's timelines have not been parallel this entire time. We, Spencer's been slightly ahead. Now we know that it's been three months, three months since Carol wrote the letter saying the ranch is at war. Now, we don't really know exactly how long Spencer and Alexandra have been off in their own little Shangri-La. Could be a couple days, it could be a week, it could be a couple months. Hasn't been made clear. But what has happened at Yellowstone in the three months? Kara is doing her best to make it appear as if Jacob is strong and hardy to protect the ranch. And if Jacob's the only thing that's keeping that ranch in the Dutton's hands. Wow. Wow. So what's happening next? I don't know. We'll just have to watch. This is a long one. Also, I saw this one's at hour 10. So we're going to get all comfy cozy. I've got some beverages. I am rehydrating. I'm rehydrating. I hope you're hydrating as well. You're going to remember full episode watch along is available on Patreon. If you want to sit and watch it with me for the full hour or 10. Uh, but yeah, other than that, let's get to it. Oh, is this the valley? The meadow? Oh no. Can't get here soon enough. Has Spencer ever written home? Ever, ever? No cable. Not today. Now was he wishing he were dead? Oh, that's when the good old fashioned method was scrub the infection out. Our family had lost itself in the tedium of healing. He's not healing. The hobby of watching young love had been robbed from her. Jack choosing to spend his evenings patrolling headquarters, choosing revenge over passion. We've sent for the doctor. What for? For you. I'll not spoon feed and bathe too, Emma. You have a child, he needs you. He's a man who has a woman. Who's struggling right now. He has no need for me. Always has need for you. Sons outgrow their mothers now, do they? Become a mother before you lecture me about sons and what they do. Oh, honkin'. Oh. Pumpkin. <gasps> oh, I knew it. I knew it. And only four Duttons remained on this earth to survive another generation. We were going extinct. When we get to port, stay close. I came through Mombasa. It was fine. You came with a group and you had drivers waiting. We have neither. Yeah, you had a whole entourage. Journey from Africa to seek vengeance. Montana is the magnet now. And for my young brother, it will be his last. Yeah, that is really odd to think Spencer is Elsa's little brother. <laughs> that he never met. That's crazy. I need to book passage to America. America? How do you expect to do that? You tell me. <laughs> we have no liners to the States. Okay. You can book you to London. You can arrange transport from there. How long is the journey? Depends on traffic at the sewers. A month, give or take. Wow. You will embark on... It feels as if the letter got there th faster. Three weeks. We gotta wait three weeks. Three weeks plus a month. I don't know. We have to find out. So he's on the east coast of Africa now? Little teeny tiny airplanes weren't really a thing yet, were they? Especially, I'm guessing, in Africa. 
We can sit on a wing, <laughs> fly 20 feet over the ground. Oh, Tiona, how far did you get? How far did she get? Now, would they, would they send a posse after her? Or just one guy? A lone shooter to hunt her down. Wait, there's more? There's more? Is there more? <gasps> oh, there, 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 there is. Where did she go? I don't, I don't know. <laughs> if you don't know, why are you crying? Oh. <gasps> what have the innocent to fear? Where did she go? Come up with a place. I don't know. And they wonder why they have students retaliating. <gasps> when you do not tell the truth, <sighs> to aid a murderer is to bathe in the blood of her victims. I told you the truth. She went home. <clears throat> With no assistance, no supplies, you expect me to accept that as fact? You have strayed from the light. I need him to die. I need him to die so bad. He works your filthy mouth with his little strings. Oh, pumpkin. He needs to die so hard. Stabby, 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 stabby. You mother truckers. Do they honestly think they're going to be able to track her? I hope they can't track her. Father! Bring her back to me. She herself didn't take a horse with her. Hmm. She hear them on their horses. Well, that's what she was doing. Well, it didn't cover her tracks well enough. Is that gonna work to get rid of those wolf? I feel a jump scare coming on. Yeah. <laughs> this is where she finds snakes. Snakes hidden in the rocks. <laughs> <laughs> it's just you? My bride. The ship is a troller. Where are the gutters they are? The dickheads. They are, they are dickheads. Then don't let them be assholes. Is she pretty? <laughs> they will throw you overboard to keep the woman for themselves. No. Fine gentlemen there. Fine gentlemen. I have an idea for you. Look, uh, you found any sellers yet? Nah, nobody wants to transport a tug. Well, I have one for you here. Looks like a hunter. Mm-hmm. I can pay, and I'm willing to work. Right. 
Got a deal. And? We'll leave first light. Mustard gas. Used to captain a liner. Made into a hospital. When you see him, boys, you know, there's no one seeing it. You just know it when you look at it. <coughs> this man gonna make the trip? Tomorrow we're gonna make a sailor out of you. <coughs> He's not gonna make this trip. I swear, if this season ends with Spencer just getting to the ranch, I'm going to scream. I'm going to scream. I also have a feeling. <gasps> if there's sheep, there are shepherds, right? I was going to say, I have a feeling Tiona's going to be beset upon by people and this wolf's going to jump out and save her. There's a shepherd. Your father runs his horse. Oh, so the family is known then too. Hank, who a beak? She belonged to the people. The government finds out we got them. The government's gonna take them. Why would they take them? Why would they take you? Are these the sheep that they got? The Duttons, <laughs> Duttons gave them? I'm in big trouble. I killed the nun who beat me. I killed the nun who raped me. No, they're gonna come and kill me. So gonna say I would do like he did about running away. Please be nice to her, Hank. Please, she needs somebody to be nice to her. They did this. Let's say they had it coming. You come home with me. I'll send word to your father. You should go to Canada. Canada's worse. Was it at this time? Was it worse? Who's? That's yours. It belongs to the bank. Mm. Strafford widow packed up, headed east. Oh. That ranch borders the Yellowstone. All these ranchers leverage the land to build up the herds. Get me more of these. Anyone you can run off. Mm. We'll choke this Dutton out. This is a lot like the plan Beth was doing. <laughs> Season one and two. I want the whole valley. Including yours. I think I heard him saying directly. Where to feed the wood? It runs on gas. Gas from where? Yeah. It's piped into the house. From where? Where do you live, Banner? I have a homestead up north in the mountains. Log and sod. I got questions. Cities are the mastery of one's surroundings. Oh, he's got power. Electricity and power. Power and power. In the wild, the availability of water dictates whether you survive the day. In the city, it becomes an afterthought. Unless you don't pay your water bill. No more log and sod for you. It's yours. Right, here's my question. Banner, all of a sudden gets this very nice house in the city with all the luxuries. And if, if people question why, no one, no one will really care, suspect anything, anything's up. That was the other thing about 1883, why I was squinty-eyed about a lot of things is. Hard to build a herd when you sell all the heifers. We didn't we ain't building it ever hear it. how, why ranching. <laughs> it was never mentioned if James was a rancher before, if he had experience ranching. So when they made it out, what, what were they planning on doing? They're heading to Oregon originally. 
So, what were they going to do in Oregon? And then they got to Montana. Why ranching? Uh, you keep selling off your herd, you ain't going to have nothing to cowboy with. Take that to the cashier, she'll pay you out. Have you talked to your Uncle Jack? Have you heard the strategy? Doctor says he needs sunlight. Oh, he's probably getting like, what is it, rickets or whatever? Lack of vitamin D. Muscles atrophying. What? <laughs> Look how angry you are. <laughs> Rooster sold out. Can't win without a leader. I can lead them. How? They won't follow you. Not yet. This must be done right. Or we lose everything. So what's the strategy, you know, Unc? <gasps> That's not the strategy. Then old son. <laughs> Just start hiring livestock agents. Sure, if he started interviewing. No, you got to do it. Don't trust the charming ones. <laughs> charming ones work for him. If he's smart, he's got somebody to back him. Why do you think that? Because mm. that's what I'd do. I find it hard to believe that anyone would support that monster. Mm. Would take another monster. Who's the one man in this state benefits if the ranchers move out? Look at you go, Jacob. We can start on solid foods tomorrow. Oatmeal, rice. Mm, yum. Lamb. I, I don't see this part of the world having very many spices at this point in time. I'll help you. I'm gonna have to because they're leaving. Mm. You've lost enough weight. I bet I can carry you myself. I just remember that John got shot up also. <laughs> Seems to be a pattern in this family. There goes the glass. This isn't what you promised. Okay, you haven't lost anything that I haven't lost. Now, our wedding day came and went with no mention of it. We don't speak. You don't, you don't even touch me. I've got just as much right to hate the man as you do, but I don't. Because hate takes your whole heart. Go, Elizabeth. Every bit of it. Of course. Okay, it leaves no room for love. If you won't do the same for me, take me to town. It's a prison. You have made this place a prison. It's not. It's home. It's your home. And how are you making I'm it a husband. home? So they did get married. Okay. <laughs> they haven't gotten married. <laughs> you don't need a wedding to get married. We're standing in front of God right now. And you're going to promise her vengeance? What you promising her? Take you, Liz Strafford, to be my lawfully wedded wife. Until vengeance takes me. So long as we <laughs> shall live. But he didn't address the, the crux of the problem. Girl, don't let him get away with it. Still doesn't really address the issue. Oh, meanwhile. <laughs> on the tugboat to nowhere. <laughs> I think Alex needs to wear a hat at least to the ship. That blonde hair is just a flag of, I'm young and female and might have money. <gasps> is he leaving her behind? He's leaving her behind. He's gonna leaving a note. leave you her alone in Africa and a place where he says, don't leave my side, but I'm going to leave you alone. What does it say? It says that this trip is too dangerous. It says I'll send for you when it's safe. There is no sending for me, Spencer. We have a life together. Or we live our lives apart. Can you live your life without me? 
Oh, you know what I'm gonna say. You know what I'm gonna say. You only get to choose me once. Okay, your thanks. <laughs> the tear did it. The tear did it for him. <laughs> So Alex, what? Again, I ask, what skills do you have? What survival skills do you have? You can't send a wire to the States from here. Ships can. I told the helm on our passage. The captain showed me how they send messages from ship to ship until they reach London. This is this man's ship. He's gonna need more than one sailor. This ship is huge. Passage may be booked to the Union Castle office on Hudson. I don't, I don't need passage. Oh, he's just gonna use the radio. My family in the United States has suffered tragedy. I'm leaving today and I need to send word. Thank you. My pleasure, sir. Why are you smiling? You should be smiling too. I'm proving quite resourceful on this journey and we haven't even left yet. No telling how I'll save the day next. <laughs> no, there's not. <laughs> Jovial nature infringing upon your sullenness. You're not going to do this the entire trip, are you? Uh, to what? He has talk. not been paying attention. I talk when I'm nervous. Has he at all? I cut my talking by half. But no, you're too busy sulking, which makes me doubt everything, which makes me more nervous, which means I must double my talking to compensate. Okay. This looks more like what I was expecting. <laughs> Spencer, I didn't think those were supposed to leave the harbor. Which one's leaving the harbor? A girl with you. Girls with me. And I'm tougher than I look. I used to say that. And now I'm an old man, and I'm looking tougher than I am. <laughs> <coughs> See. Free the lines from the bullets. Well, I hope Alexander was paying attention on Untied that ship. The ropes from those hooks, then roll it up and store it on deck. So I don't see if Spencer brought any of his weapons with him. At all. But I don't remember. This is the easiest it'll be. Mm -hmm. Okay. How far does this boat take us? Suez Canal. Then what? Whatever takes us west. Mm-hmm. Your vacation's over, I'm afraid. But the adventure is just beginning. And that's when they die. Was it botulism? And all the canned goods? Isn't that what killed the people going across the Arctic in Canada and whatnot? Yeah, he's a tugboat. Isn't he supposed to be, should be tugging something? <coughs> Come here, back. Yeah, maybe find out how this works, Spencer. What the hell is it doing? There's a ghost. A ghost ship. Boilers blew in the spring and crew abandoned ship. But she didn't sink, no. Now she lists back and forth hunting captains who don't pay attention. And you're going towards it. Well, they have some nauseating shots in here. It's abandoned. No one's piloting the ship. Someone can explain what, what that was all about. <laughs> Who wants first watch? What are you doing watch? Watch for ghost ships. The pilot, the boat, man. Who's piloting the boat now? <laughs> the fuck? String, the rope. Can any of you navigate? Looks like I've got first watch. Can she navigate? 
You turn the wheel, you turn the rudder. Compass. Yes, please. Uh, our course is 15 degrees. I don't think he's going to make this six hours. I'm piloting the ship. I need a hat. One shouldn't pilot without a hat. I feel naked. I said she should have had a hat. Do we need them to be shipwrecked? No, we don't need them to be shipwrecked. There's enough drama going on in Montana. We do not need to add shipwreck. Oh, that pillowcase does not look good. So does he have tuberculosis? Tuberculosis. Tuberculosis. Oh man, you need to rest. It's my fucking ship. Only one gives orders here. <laughs> That's right. He's smoking away with whatever is. Ah. Oh. <gasps> is that winter now? We've got winter snows. Why are we going upstairs, Jacob? Do we need to go up the stairs? Okay, I'm distracted. What are they using for countertops? And what was able in 1920s to make that countertop so flat and square? I would like to set a date for the wedding. I'm sure you would, dear. But we should wait until the spring. spring. Nope, can't. Okay, she's with child. I don't think my dress will fit in the spring. There isn't enough rum cake in Montana to put pound on you, girl. Not because of cake. We said our vows. We just left the law out of it and the preacher and everyone else. That is the first good news these ears have heard in months. How many Dutton men have crawled and fallen and gone up and down these stairs in severe pain? Is this his form of exercise? Why are they stalled? Why are they stalled? Why are they stalled? Hey, let me up. What's wrong? Engines aren't running. So do you know how to get the engines running? Maybe that should have been part of your lessons. Mayday, mayday, mayday. What is your heading? Due east, but we're drifting. Have you nautical maps? We do. All right, Jack. I'll talk you through finding a branch with the compass. Oh, jeez! It's the elephant in the car all over again. Maybe you shouldn't try to not cut in front of it, Spencer. Oh, you don't need this. Keep walking. Just keep going. <laughs> With them. Don Whitfield, seems we're neighbors. I've acquired the Strafford Ranch. I'd love to meet your husband. Is there a time I might pay a visit? I'll inform him of your interest. We could choose a time now. Mm. I don't keep his calendar. Then perhaps I'll just stop by and see if he's free. Mm. He thinks yourself. Let us spend a winter here without her husband to run that ranch. 
by spring, she will beg me to buy. Mm -hmm. It's been an interesting morning. It's about to get more interesting. And you read the cable. We know she read the cable. You didn't hold it long enough for me to read it. I'm going to pause it. I've received your letter. And I'm coming home. Is he now? Why did he cut in front of the ship? He could have just gone to the... Starboard! <laughs> So I know it's not Yellowstone without some major trials and tribulations that were really preventable. Starboard! Spencer! Starboard! I think Spencer survives because I think I saw him in a thumbnail later on. Unless it was a flashback. Hmm. Does Alexandra survive? Not certain. But if they both or one of them survives, I think maybe they're just climbing on that ship and floating on that ship until they're rescued. <laughs> so Tiona, <laughs> so Tiona, Tiona's rain water, Thomas's rain water, but our last names passed down in that tribe paternally, or they just passed down or they can pick whichever one they wish. Not a percent certain. Because I would think if she was already a rainwater, she would have to have been married to a rainwater? Question mark, question mark. But her little friend, her little friend, is this the last we see of the reservation school clergy? I hope so. They need to go away, wither and die. And the thing with Elsa's narration is that it always makes me think that somebody, Spencer or Jack, are gonna die. I'm guessing Jack lives, Elizabeth passes on John Dutton's dad. Is that who she's gonna have? And then Spencer's just gonna be a non-player. If he's a non-player, then why is he there? Why is he a part of the story at all? Yeah, this is one where I, if I think too hard, I don't want to keep watching because <laughs> there's too many. Why is this happening? So I'm going to stop speculating about why are these pieces not fitting together and just try to reconcile with myself that they're not fitting together yet. We have four more episodes to go. I'm hoping someone gets their comeuppance. I come from a land of where I want happily ever after. I want the bad guys to be vanquished good guys to win. That did not happen in 1883. It was very literary fiction, blah, where they, where they began and where they ended, no character growth happened. And we just stopped talking about people. I hope that's not the case here. I hope that's not the case here. We shall see. I need happiness. I need so I'm going to go watch some cartoons about hell. And that's where my happiness is going to derive from today. I don't know. I don't know. What do you all think about this episode? Was It was an hour and ten. Did it need to be an hour and ten? I don't know. But don't be strangers. Hit subscribe if you haven't already. Go eat something. Go stretch. And then you're going to come back and watch the next video in the queue, right? Please. Okay. Thanks again, y'all. And until next time.